All right, in this video, we're looking at nested if-else statements. Basically, we're gonna be putting an if-else statement within another if-else statement. Um, this just gives us more opportunity to kind of branch out our program and make slightly more complicated, complicated programs. Okay, so what I've done here is we wanna write a program that's just gonna kind of uh, determine if you can join a sports team, for example. So you have to be like a certain age and gender. Um, and then what I've done is I've written the last line of the program here that's gonna say, you either do or don't qualify for the team. Okay, so in order to do this, let's say maybe you have to be a, an, at least 18 and a male to join this particular sports team. So we're gonna have to have some variables. So we will have string, we'll have one for gender, and then we'll have an integer for our age. Um, and then I've written this yes, no here. This is just a condition of either you can or can't join the team. So we'll call that a string, and that is yes, no. All right, so first of all, we wanna ask our user if they are male or female. So we will see out <clears throat> just exactly that. Are you male or female? <clears throat> okay, and then our user will enter um, their gender. Perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter our first if else statement. So remember we have if, we have our condition with our statements. So we wanted to be uh, we wanted our sports player to be male, right? So let's say if gender is equal to male, do something. And then, uh, so actually we'll just write in the, the curly braces here, do this stuff, and else do something else, okay? So, statements, we don't need that to be written there. And all right, so this is our this is our first if else statement. So we know right away we can fill out the else um, that if they're female they're not the right fit for this team. So yeah, if they're not male it'll come down here and then we can set yes no um, we can set that to uh, don't right and then it'll say you don't qualify for the team. Okay, so providing that our user you know, let's try and bump that out. Providing that our user is male, then the next thing we have to find out about them is are they, you know, 18 and over or are they younger than that? So we will say CO, we want to ask them again, how old are you? Uh, maybe we'll do a colon. Okay, and then we'll have the user see in, um, see in their age. Perfect. So now we have now we know how old they are, and now we need to decide if it's if it's appropriate for our team. So we're gonna make our next if else statement. So if um, age is greater than 17, so that would include 18 year olds, do something, which we would say would be yes, no is equal to um, do, because that would say you do qualify for the team. Okay. Uh, and then our else condition is here. We don't need, oh, we don't actually need the braces because this is just gonna be a, a one line thing. We're just gonna say yes, no is equal to don't. All right, put in some semicolons. Let's tab that out so it looks nice. Okay, so now what we're, we're looking at here is we have our big if else statement, and then within the if section, we have another if else statement. So let's go and run this and see if we manage to get all the semicolons in there. <clears throat> Looks like it. So let's try and run our program. So it says, are you male or female? So let's say male. How old are you? Let's say 18. You do qualify for the team. There you go. So we'll do another example. Maybe if you just put in female, Sorry, you don't qualify for the team. Or if you had, maybe you were male, but you were six years old, you don't qualify for the team. So that's just one example of how you can put nested if else statements. Um, obviously there's a ton of other things you can do. I just picked the first thing that popped into my head. Um, but yeah, now you know how to do that and I'll see you in the next video.